Hello there! In this video, we'll talk about creating printed circuit boards, or PCBs. A PCB is a piece of dielectric material with at least one layer of conductive tracks. We'll try to create these conductive tracks and remove the unnecessary copper that's left on the surface of CEM. We're going to use the chemical milling method, which consists of two steps. First, masking the surface with protective layer. And second, milling parts of the surface that are not masked. First, we are using a special piece of software to draw the necessary conductive track pattern. Use a laser printer to print out the pattern in mirror image. Make sure you are printing on glossy paper, like the one used in magazines or catalogs. Warm toner from glossy paper is a lot easier to apply to the surface of the board. Now, let's cut out a piece of CEM based on the size of printed out pattern. Use a rough sponge with a detergent or a soda to clean the surface from the layer of oxidized copper. Make sure to also use alcohol or solvent to remove any oils or grease that may have contaminated the surface. The quality of your PCB depends on this next step, that's why it's very important. We are going to place the printed out pattern of conductive tracks onto our board. Place the printout on top of the board and heat it up at maximum temperature. Use warm water to make the paper wet. It will be a lot easier to remove while the toner stays on the board. If the toner did not stick to some parts of the board, you can use a regular marker to touch up the pattern. Now let's move on to chemical milling. We're going to use hydrogen peroxide and citric acid in these proportions. This is the safest and the easiest to prepare milling solution. It's also transparent, so you'll be able to observe the entire process. Let's place the board in the solution. If you warm it up, the reaction process will be a lot quicker. Chemical milling lasted about 40 minutes. Toner can now be removed with solvent. Use ProSkit tool to make holes that will be used for mounting PCB components. Take a piece of polishing paper and clean the surface. Now we'll turn the board. Apply flux first and then cover it with solder. That's it! Components can now be mounted on the board. 